Well, this truck is, uh, it's getting a little better each day and uh, I've been working on it a bit. So I'll give you a little sneak peek of uh, what's going on and uh, you'll see some of that process in this video. So you're gonna see me uh, start cleaning up the interior and uh, the paint on it. And um, it's, it's coming out a whole lot better than expected. And I'll show you the process on that. And we've only actually done two steps of the four step process. So and I actually had one uh, previously. I had a 69 C10 and I'll show you right here. And uh, I kind of did the same thing on that truck that I'm doing to this, except I don't think I'm going to have to put a motor in this truck. <laughs> this, the motor is decent in this truck, so that'll be a whole lot less work. Now, there's scratches and nicks and patina and marks all over the truck. So it's not going to be a show truck. And that's that probably would be never what I'm about. But I'd love to be able to bring like dull paint back and make it shine and make the truck kind of have a rebirth. So that's what we're doing here. And I'm going to show you my process on that. And uh, maybe you guys can pick something up from it if you don't already know. Um, but I'm not a professional. These are just things that I found out doing myself. So, you know, do it at your own risk because sometimes paint's thin and you can wear through it. And, you know, you just kind of have to play around with things. But anyway, well, here we go. Time to see what we can do about this nasty, nasty door panel. And here is the secret ingredient that I'm using for this stuff. Now, it's probably best to dilute it, but I'm just gonna send it because this stuff is nasty. Um, there is instructions on diluting it, but this is stuff I've used for years and years and years, and it, you'd be surprised what it'll clean up. So we're just gonna try a small spot right here, and I'm just gonna spray it on, let it sit for a minute. You can already see the gunk and stuff coming off. Here we go. Mm. Look at that. Holy cow. Man, that's actually... <laughs> that's... That's pretty awesome. Because if you just wipe it, it's not coming off. But... Use it at your own risk. I don't know what this stuff can tear up. I'm sure it causes cancer. Only in the state of California. Only in the state of California. Just look the bottle thing. Oh, okay. Or look the thing. This product is known to that may cause cancer in the state of California. Just let all this stuff soak in. I'll pay five bucks to lick it. I need more than five. I need more than five. Six. Stuff just comes right off. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Oh, hell yeah. That is what I'm talking about. And this is the exact same stuff. It's going to work on the seat. I'll show you that. Quick note, after I use the purple cleaner, I like to use like a glass cleaner, it's got alcohol to like neutralize any of the cleaning solution. Just wipe it all down. And there you go. For the seat, I sprayed on the rag. And then I used the rag. Take two, right? Some nasty mold or whatever else 
I'm gonna soak this top. All right. Seats all nice and clean. Came out really, really, really good. So I'll go clean that door panel over there. And uh, I'll call it a day because I'm about to go on a trip with my wife for our anniversary. So no more working on the truck for a couple days. Cool. Good news, when you put transmission fluid in the truck, it moves quite well. So things are kind of turning around for this project. But as you can see, it got it moved over here so it can kind of be covered on the porch. Um, and I'm gonna start working on cleaning up the paint since we already cleaned up the interior. So I'm gonna work this half of the paint. I'm gonna leave this one not worked so you can see the difference kind of hard to see a difference right now but I did kind of play around with a little spot you can see it's nice and clean right here and uh, just you know test and see how it was gonna come out um, if you judge by the way that that um, like this light right here looks let's see if I can get it to go in there oh yeah it cleans up really well that was a good example okay cool that's kind of what we're gonna be uh, judging on on the camera so you can kind of see the difference this paint is, you know, pretty faded, uh, but a lot of it will come back. So we're going to do a four part process. And uh, the first part, we're just going to clay bar it. So if you've never done a clay bar before, McGuire sells it, Mother sells it. I'm sure some other people sell it online, but I just got a little clay bar. That's exactly what it sounds like. Just a piece of clay, brand new, it's square. That obviously doesn't matter here. And then you take a some kind of wash and wax quick de detailer something for lubrication um if you guys can see this place right here when i wash this truck these stains didn't come out i'm gonna spray the detailer on them i'm gonna use this clay bar and you see that they come right out turn around sometimes but you get the point. I would just take a terry towel or a microfiber towel. And there you go. Now some of this is gonna have to come out with the compound, but it's a whole lot nicer to get it all off before we start hitting it with the compound. So step one, like I said, clay bar. So let me clay bar this whole thing. And then uh, I'll tape this center section up and uh, we'll start hitting it with the compound. So. Let me get the clay bar done and we'll go from there. You'll be able to feel where the clay bar is and uh, where it hasn't been. So you can, you know, if you need to figure out if you missed a spot or whatever, just run your hand over it. So the uh, clay bar is done. I think you can kind of already see a good difference here. It's a little bit brighter. And now time for step two. Now I have this fantastic McGuire's variable speed uh, buffer that my wife bought me. And uh, it's awesome. You can do this by hand though, um, but if you have some kind of DA buffer, I think it's going to be very beneficial. I'm curious how this is going to work for me because I'm using a pad that is not really meant for this buffer because I'm going to have to order some. So I went down to the auto parts store and got this wool pad, but it might be okay. 
but this is what I'm going to use for this first step. And this is a McGuire's like cutting compound. So we're going to cut it, then we're going to clean or wax it, and then we're going to polish it. So this is like step two after the, clump, the uh, clay bar. You can't buy this stuff at the auto parts store, um, but believe it or not, you can order, of course you can order online, but Harbor Freight carries it. But as you can see, it's very extra heavy cut. So you have to be very careful. You don't want to pull all your paint off with this stuff. So you don't rub it till the uh, cows come home. Now I'm not a professional, but this stuff works for me. So take this, you know, direction as you're at your own risk. But um, yeah, I'm just going to get started. Shake it up. Obviously I've had a uh, malfunction <laughs> with the packaging. Um, and then Check it up and show you guys a little bit here. I'm gonna put it on the pad directly. Yeah, pretty thick. And since this pad is brand new, it's gonna soak up a bunch of it. But I'm gonna show you guys an area. And uh, kind of just work it in. Start slow to kind of work it in so it doesn't go everywhere, and then you can speed up. Okay, so I just did that one small spot. I worked it in until there was hardly any left. There's still like a little bit down here and this is overspray. And now I'm gonna take a clean microfiber and clean it off. Clean it off here. Okay. <laughs> Wow. All right, I love this process. Keep an eye on that uh that like spotlight from the ceiling real quick. Watch it just go into the nasty dirty paint. Come back and nice and bright and clean. With this light, it's going to be hard to see a huge difference, but there is, I promise you that much. Uh, I've got a good good start on it, so I'm going to keep going and uh keep cleaning this thing up it's gonna look great can see the before on the driver's side of the truck and then you can see the after and especially from this point of view it's very 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 clear that there's a difference and uh, you know and that's just step one and two so you know that's the clay bar and then the compound and 
man, it's it's a world of difference, you know. Just even like, look at that there. Look how much deeper that side is than this side. It really, really, really makes a difference. Um, and you know, there's still a lot more to be done. So I'm gonna do step one and two over the entire truck. And then I'll come back probably in another episode and show you step uh, three and four, which is a cleaner wax followed by like a good polished wax. So yeah, I'm really, really happy. A lot more to do on this thing, but I'm glad to be getting it started. So the interior is getting better. The exterior is starting to get better and uh, the truck's just going to look better and better as we go. And then we'll start working on the mechanicals. So more parts ahead appreciate you guys coming along check out racerxgarage.com go get you a t-shirt go get you a decal do something help us out to put uh some of that money back into these projects so we can show you you know some more content so we appreciate everybody that's subscribed already if you're watching and you're not subscribed please do so if you enjoy the content so uh you know just like always we appreciate you guys so much and we do it for ourselves and we do it for y'all and couldn't be more happy that we're almost at a thousand subscribers so tell your friends share it let us know race week's coming up it's gonna be some great content so you don't want to miss it so thanks again until next time y'all be good